welcome to the CPA Atlantic School of Business series, So You Want to Be a CPA. Today's topic is, So You Have Life Commitments and Want to Be a CPA. We're going to discuss ways that you can balance your personal, work, and student life by going over the many pathways that you can pursue as you complete your CPA program, as well as other study techniques that will benefit you as you progress through the profession. So first, I wanted to start off by providing you with interim requirements for the CPA professional education program. So to be eligible to begin the CPA professional education program, we do assess two criteria, a recognized 120 credit hour degree, or at least eight years of relevant work experience, plus 14 specific business and accounting courses. If you need any of the 14 preparatory courses, we do offer them through online part-time learning with an in-person final examination. And once you are eligible to begin the CPA professional education program, this consists of six online part-time academic modules plus a common final examination. Each module consists of one mandatory uh, workshop plus an additional orientation workshop at the start of the program with in-person final examinations. There is also a practical experience requirement of 30 months of full-time relevant progressive experience. Your first step, if you haven't already, is to submit the eligibility request form or an ERF so that we can assess your prior education and determine where you will start your CPA studies. After you have received your eligibility results for the program, some of you may have to complete some preparatory courses before entering the professional education program. The prep courses are broken down into two categories, the non-core and core courses. So now we're gonna take a little look at what those courses are. So the non-core courses are open registration. We have five exam um, dates available per year. They are self-study format and they do require 200 study hours. Of course, the study hours does depend on your knowledge of the course material and your schedule. To get full exemption of these courses, we do require a 50% passing grade. So next we're going to talk about the core accounting courses. So these are over a seven week semester with six weeks of learning material with a weekly schedule and a final examination in this seventh week. They are more instructor facilitated and have live um, weekly webinars. These courses, however, require 15 to 20 study hours per week. So to balance your work life while you're completing the necessary preparatory courses, we do not recommend that you take more than one core, core prep course while you are working full time due to the fact that it could take approximately 15 to 20 study hours per week over a six week term. However, you can take more than one course at a time if the study dates and times do not fall on the exact same day. But this truly depends on how comfortable you are with the course concepts and how flexible your work can be to complete the courses. We want to see our students succeed and to be able to put the appropriate time and commitment to completing the preparatory courses so that they will be successful when they enter the professional education program. And as long as you remain up to date with your annual student dues, you can take as long as you need to complete the required preparatory courses. So if you have a time of year that is busier with work or you need to take some time off, to, uh, off the summer to spend time with your family, you can actually choose not to take courses during that semester. So you do have that flexibility. So now you know about the core and non-core courses, now we're going to look at the professional education program. Based on your eligibility assessment, if you are exempt from all the 14 preparatory courses or completed all of this, uh, the 14 preparatory courses, you will start here. So the professional education program is a part-time online program. It is designed for full-time working professionals so you can study and work at the same time. 
It is very flexible. And of course, you can complete um, the modules as you pursue a personal life as well as a work life in balance. These courses are online, but the, there are mandatory weekend workshops that you must attend, and the final examinations are also in person. The dates for the workshops and final exams are posted far in advance on our website so that you can plan your work and personal schedule in advance to make it happen. Throughout the program, you do have the continuous support of instructors, workshop facilitators, and even a CPA mentor. Again, like I mentioned, the professional education program is flexible. You do have six years to complete the modules and seven years to complete the practical experience if needed. So I get asked quite a bit, when is the best time to start and when am I going to finish the program? Well, that truly depends on a lot of factors which we will soon discuss. First, we're going to look at the different timeframes of completing the regular pathway and determining what semester you're going to start and finish. So now we're going to take a look at the regular pathway durations. So for example, if you started your regular pathway in the summer, you'd be looking at a 10 month CPA pet path. If you start in the fall semester, you're looking at 11 months for your CPA path. If you start in the spring, you're looking at 13 months, and in the winter semester, you'd be looking at approximately 16 months for your CPA path. However, that is just one of the many modalities that you can complete the professional education program. We have introduced many different lengths and longer pathways because we understand that life happens, and we want you to have a positive experience while you complete your CPA designation. Having this option to take breaks in between modules is also a great way for those who want to finish their program and continue their life commitments together. So when it comes to scheduling your first four modules, we do have several timelines that you can follow. First is the regular track or flexible track, which is the most common pathway, and that's what we just discussed. It is the pathway that most take while working through their studies. It gives you the ability to apply your learning to your job. And these courses are offered over uh, eight weeks and offered four times throughout the year. The other track is the fast track, which is the option where you can take both core one and core two or both of your electives at the same time. This doubles your workload and does require about 40 study hours per week. So this is only recommended for non-working students. However, we do see this option for organizations who need their candidates to finish the program faster or at an accelerated rate. So they would probably give their uh, CPA candidates the opportunity to take a few months off so that they can um, complete their modules back to back in order to finish the program at an accelerated pace. Finally, we do have the new extended pathway. We understand that life happens. So this is a new modality that we have introduced to our students in recent years to help them successfully complete the professional education program without feeling overwhelmed by life and work commitments. So if you're studying, uh, if, sorry, if you're working while you're studying the professional education program, but also have commitments that you're concerned about, whether it's, you know, busy season at work or, family gatherings such, you know, you could have your sister's wedding in the summer or your kid is in a, a, a hockey tournament that you're coaching and you need to be there and make time for that. We can take those eight weeks and extend them into 20 weeks. This option is only available for core one, core two, as well as your electives. These extended modalities are only offered twice a year once in January and in July. If you take all of your courses during this extended route, you'll be looking at approximately two and a half years to complete your professional education program. The best thing about this is that you can go back and forth between tracks. If you start on the fast track because you don't have a job lined up at the moment, you can move back to the regular track for your electives. 
or if you want to take the eight week regular schedule for the fall semester, but the extended pathway over the winter and spring because you're super busy at work, then you can also do that. We at the CPA Atlantic School of Business understand that people have life commitments while you're completing your studies. So we wanted to offer as many options as possible for you to be successful as you progress through our program. Each module has their own study materials, concepts, and resources after registration, as well as your intro into the professional education um, modules for tutorials that will better prepare you and assist, assist, assist our students within the program with these resources and tutorials. So I do also want to mention that you can take semesters off as long as you remain up to date with your student dues. However, there is less flexibility and these modalities are not applied when it comes to your capstones as well as your common final examination. We would strongly recommend that you check with your employer on when they would like for you to complete your common final examination, as some employers would prefer their candidates to write in September. And as I mentioned, you do have continuous support through the CPA professional education program. Um, of course, I would also like to mention that, you know, your case studies that you see on Capstone 1 and Capstone 2 help guide you and prepare you for the common final examination. The case study, as well as the many case studies that you're exposed to in your capstones are the ones that you're going to be familiar with as you go into the common final examination. So you're going to be very prepared and you've seen this, uh, the, the, the course concepts as you enter the common final examination. And another great thing of having that flexibility um, of working while you're studying is that your practical experience will count towards the 30 months of the required experience. And also, I would like to mention that you can bring up to 12 months of prior experience into the professional education program. So, of course, since this is a program designed primarily for people who are working, most of you can accumulate your, your practical experience while you are studying. So to find out more about these routes and how to accumulate your hours and to get a CPA mentor, you can contact the Practical Experience team or go on our website to learn more about your PPR office or your EBR offices. So now I want to take a moment to talk about your CPA resources. We also encourage study groups or having a study buddy that would help you progress through the program. We have seen many social media groups, colleagues, and other individuals coming together to assist, support, and help each other while they're going through the program. That, of course, if that's something that you're interested in. We want our students to feel comfortable and supported uh, as they prepare to finish their modules before they attempt the common final examination. So, of course, we do recommend that you um, refer to the CPA Canada website where you can find important and helpful resources that will help you, um, such as the candidate guide, the course syllabus, competency maps, um, even the self-assessed interest exams, exam blueprints, everything you can think of. So having the details of the program, along with sample exams that you can work through at your own pace, will make you feel better prepared for the modules as well as the exams. So of course, the website is in our chat box and I will post it after on our slides. So that is a very important tool that we strongly recommend our students to use. So of course, I do want to talk about some helpful links that is important. So of course, our own website. So another thing to look at the pathways and see and plan out your CPA journey is to go on our cpaatlantic.ca under student resources, then the professional education program tab and look at flexible pathways. So you can see our course calendars and all that stuff as well as you plan your CPA journey. And of course, you can always reach out to your student, uh, student recruitment advisor for assistance with that as well. And of course, the resources for the CPA professional education program on CPA Canada website, as well as the handbook 
So talking about the harmonized education policies, so directives for the CPA professional education program, as well as the preparatory courses on the CPA Canada website. And of course, the handbook is super important as well, but once you register for your modules, you are granted access to the CPA handbook, which is an excellent tool and resource as you're going through the program. So now I want to provide you with some helpful study tips. Use the CPA handbook, it is very important. Use the resources provided and attempt the practice exams and materials on the CPA Canada website. Study with a buddy or group or yourself, whatever you prefer. Establish a study routine and stick with it. And be sure to take care of yourself because self-care is very important. So now I wanted to talk to you about your next steps. If you haven't already, please apply now. Complete the online eligibility request form. Contact your student recruitment advisor about your pathway, planning your pathway, whatever questions that you may have, and follow us on social media, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, to find out more information about upcoming events and other tutorials that will help you throughout the program. Thank you so much for joining us today and we hope that you enjoy the, the session and best of luck to you on your studies.